give you a real quick tour. This slide was sealed, but unfortunately the seal wasn't complete around all edges, so it is slowly evaporating, very slowly evaporating. The uh, negative of this, of course, is that everything on the slide is doomed and will die very soon, I'm sure. The positive of this is that the shrinking drop of water on the slide is compressing everything into one tiny little spot, and they're still all alive. So uh, I'm able to see the uh, mass of the population in one tight little space. And look at all this stuff. There's these two gigantic, I don't know what they are, never seen those before, uh, protozoans of some type, four billion diatoms, there's thread-like uh, bacteria everywhere. It's quite a mass of stuff. There's things on here, look at this thread. I'm sure even that's alive. And look at, see this uh, right there in the center, see those thread-like things? They're alive. See them swimming around? <laughs> Diatoms all over the place. Oh my god, a freaking amoeba. Oh, I got so lucky on this. Okay, we gotta go see them. Not Oh, shit, crushed the slide. That was good. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this. Okay. <laughs> I hit the cover slip. Whoops. Okay. I need some better light. If I'm gonna hit him. Crunch. It's a good thing I don't have the mic at the slide level because you could have heard that go. Crunch. Sorry, Mr. Amoeba. There he is. I've never seen a freshwater amoeba, ever. This is my first. Oh, isn't he beautiful? Look at him ooze around the slide. And he's big, too. He's a big target. Oh, I'm thrilled. I don't know if you could tell. There's some diatoms getting in the way there, but, yeah. Wow. I wonder just exactly how much stuff is on the slide. I never saw him while I was doing my observations. Him, her, it, whatever. Didn't know he was there until now. But see, all this stuff is getting compacted into one tiny space. So we have a great variety of microorganisms to... Uh, poke around at. Um, get my mouse cursor out of the way, and I also need to brighten up the video. Oh, where am I at? No, I can't do that. That's already maxed. I'm not getting as much light as I would have hoped for. Where's the iris? No, iris is wide. Oh, I'll just have to do it that way. You're still getting pretty good detail anyway. Oh, isn't that just so sweet? Wow. I have seen amoebas before, but not like him. This one is a freshwater amoeba, and freshwater amoebas, you know, uh, lake amoebas, pond amoebas, tend to be quite large, and so the details inside them are easily uh, poked at. Much, much easier than, uh, say, infectious amoebas. Pathogenic amoebas are very tiny in my experience, from what I've seen in my own experiments. They're quite, quite tiny. This fellow's pretty large. Notice how he doesn't move so much as flow, and all of his internals flow along with it. So basically what you have there is systems of pressure inside the uh, membrane and uh, the whole thing moves like a flood. 
neat, huh? Look at all that stuff inside them. It's a pity we don't have much time with this, because I could do a long-term study on him. I would love that. The bright spot in this is that where there is one, there's usually more, and I have a lot of pond water sample, and I have a whole lake to pick from right there at work, which is where he came from. And, uh, and there will be more. Oh, this is great. I wonder how much time I have left. Don't mind this. Do, 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 do. I have... Oh, oh, I've got a couple minutes. Okay. Ugh. Ugh! I'm like in lust with a single-celled organism. I wonder if I can get his phone number. What do you think? I wonder if I can get his phone number. Oh my god, he's so cute. No, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. No, I'm just really thrilled. I don't get a chance like this, but once in a great damn while. I have waited. Ugh. How long? I've waited about... Shoot, I first got into microscopy, microbiology, when I was 12, I guess. <laughs> so... 28 years? I waited for you 28 years? I don't even wait that long for women, honestly. <laughs> this, this is... Uh, this is pretty cool. He's totally ignoring the diatoms. He probably can't do anything with them because they're silica shells. But I bet he's been munching the other stuff in there. Those bacteria would be a fairly easy target for him. I think I'm about out of time. But, uh, yeah, oh, I'm so glad I did this. I have to do, um, another sequence of videos based on what's available on this slide. And, uh, you know, I didn't expect this. There will be other things that I equally did not expect to see. Fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Fan, freaking tastic. Oh, look, he trapped a diatom. You want to get a couple of them there? They're they're getting away. They're getting away. Flow. <laughs> oh, that's too cool. Okay, I better wrap it up here because I know I'm running out of time. Uh, anyway, yeah, <laughs> more to follow. Definitely, this slide is a gold mine. Clearly. Say bye to Mr. Diatom, or Diatom Amoeba, and like I said, more to come. Bye for now.